Okay, there we go. Everything's a work in progress, including this title. Let's turn that down a little bit. Alright, welcome ladies and gentlemen and YouTubes. Welcome to the Mystery Hour. I don't know how long I'm going to be doing this. Uh, I have a bad history of th starting things that I do not finish, so we'll see what happens. It's a little bit loud. Check, 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 check. There we go. Just need it in the red slightly. All right. So, today on the Mystery Hour, we are going to be playing The Return of the Obra Dinn. And I'm told that not all of this is exciting, but all of it is mysterious. That was cheesy as fuck. All right. Whoa, what the? Okay, that was also mysterious as hell. I can see that's going to be a transition I need to work on. Okay, so, uh... I saw somebody showcase this on YouTube, and I had to stop right there because I wanted it. And it is basically uh, CSI East Indian uh, Ocean Company. In any case, um, this is by Lucas Pope. I don't know anything else. Well, I know there's a ship, and there's a mystery. And where there's a mystery... I, I gotta know what happens next. So let's go. Let's let's do this. Okay, Lost at Sea, 1803. The good ship Obradin. Built 1796, London, 800 tons, 18 foot draught, which I think is like how deep underwater it goes, or can go. I think that's what that means. Because as, as a ship gets more stuff on it, including crew and cargo, it dips lower. Captain R. Witter, Witterell? Whoa, uh, okay, I didn't get a chance to read all that. Let's see, it is the East India Company. Attention, Chief Inspector Insurance Claims London. I guess we are the Chief Inspector. The Oberdin has returned dispatch to Falmouth. Im uh, immediately and prepare for a full assessment. Uh, okay. Should I'm afraid to click on anything. Clicking does nothing. Cool. Yeah, you get the look. Of mine woke me up. Said you'd need ferry to the old bread inn. Not many eager for that job. Seems a bit late if you ask. I didn't. <laughs> What's in the box? I don't know. I'll hoist it up in a few minutes. Hey! How? Carefully. Okay. Um... I'm going to assume Wad's controls. Yep. Oh, I have a hand that's pointing at that. I see some rope. What are those buoys? What is all this? How are you? Hi. I'm going to poke you with my f non-existent feet. At least I got a hand. Okay. Let's get started, man. Night time. Not a good sign. Do I have a jump? I don't have a jump. I have a bell. I have so many questions. Like, 
the most I know about ships uh, is the Man of War or Galleon, which are huge, gigantic ships. What the hell is that? Why is that? Is that reflecting something? I don't know why I'm... I don't know what that is. God, I love this style. I had my choice of different... Uh, you know, is there a... Okay, there we go. I had my choice of different colors, and I went for the IBM 8503. LCD really hurts my eyes. Macintosh is, I don't know, cruddy looking. IBM hurts my eyes. Zenith is kind of cool, but, I mean, man, can you imagine going through the whole game like that? No, thank you. Uh, Commodore uh, 1084, which I, I don't think ever existed. Uh, no, thank you. And an IBM 8503, which probably also didn't exist. I see some mast damage. And we have a dead body. How novel. Okay, that's for... I thought initially that was to steer the ship, but no, the, the wheel should be up top. Where is the wheel? How do you control the rudder on this thing? Okay, so, like, that's the biggest mystery of all. I'm not... I don't know what... Whoa! Uh, put your back into it, man! Glad I can go up and down. Where's the wheel? How do you steer this ship? I have questions. Interesting. Okay, that's for hoisting the anchor. It's too heavy! Lift it yourself! Have you no spine? Okay, that's for sails. Oh. Um. All right, here we go. What is the issue? It's too heavy. Take it yourself or open it here. I guess I will. There's a book. Manifest? Something to write in. D. Return of the Obered Bin. A catalog of adventure and tragedy, 1807. I thought so. Okay, the ship was built in 1803, which means it's not very old. Preface. I trust that you now found yourself aboard the Obered Din. I expect this day to come on my every intention was to tell, tell the ship's strange tale within the pages of this book. Regrettably, failing health has allowed me to pr produce only a basic outline that follows. Your presence in the Oberdin is critical. I leave the discovery of its fate and the compilation of this book, or I'm sorry, completion of this book, in your hands. The next few pages seem bewildering at first. All will make sense in time. Use the pocket watch to determine the identity and fate of everyone aboard. W what? What? Complete each chapter accurately and return the book by guaranteed post to the French Office of Affairs in Morocco. The bargain chapter will remain unknown to you. I possess the details within, but have elected to keep them private for now. Okay. The journey begins on page six. Loose cargo. Oh, here we go. Oh. Africa is involved. So, we're in Europe. I'll, I'll have to look up where... i have to look up where we are. Deck plans for the Oberdin. Crew, surgery, carpenter shop, cargo hold. A 
Okay. This is a three deck, four deck ship. This is the top, the main deck where we are. Uh, Captain's Quarters is over there. I think that's where that dead guy is. Where is... How do you steer this thing? Okay. Gun deck. For, for now, I'm not going to worry too much about it. We'll discover more of this map later. The crew. Uh... Witterall. Captain. England. Oh, okay, that's... I guess that's a way of doing it. There are 60 people on top of this. Seaman, top man, midshipman, several mates to the first mate, captain, captain's steward, ship's steward. I don't know what those are. This is a passenger vessel. Interesting. Artist? Artist? Helmsman, purser, gunner's mate, gunner, butcher, cook, Carpenter mate, carpenter, surgeon, surgeon's mate, bosun, bosun's mate, I don't know what those are, and then the fourth, third, second, and first mate, wait, if that's true, then what are all this down here, oh, mate stewards, wow, being mate one through four got you a steward, that's cool, life at sea, sketches of life above the orbidin, interesting, Loose cargo. Cargo in the deck. Bitter cold. Murder. Oh my god. We're on a luxury liner and this is a murder mystery. The doom. The bargain. Escape. The end. He, he wants me to write a book for him. Glossary. Sure, what's a top man? Higher rated seaman specializing in work above deck. Makes sense. Seaman. Lower level crew member. Responsible for general manual labor below deck. I know what rigging is. Sure. Have a skull. Tab to open and close book. Q for table of contents. That's cool. And I have the stopwatch for determining identity and fate. Memento mortem. Don't you forget about dying. Don't you forget about your friend death. Don't you forget that death will come for you. Let's go. I'm still confused as to how to steer the ship. The sails are in tatters. That bespeaks a storm. Sails don't get torn up by... Not wind. Maybe, I don't know, maybe it was a knife tornado. Okay. Okay. Okay, he's dead. Oh, I can move. Okay. Uh, whoa. Just gonna look in here real quick. Hi, how you doing? I assume you're the captain. Nice nips. Okay, he is super dead. He's had an axe. His other friend had a blood spatter on him. Can't open that. Oh, who are you? You're a guy with a knife in your hand. 
which means you were on the attack. Everybody was on the attack. Uh, everything's getting dark. Okay. We start at the end. Of course. We have dead passenger. Outside the captain's quarters. Who is this? How did they die? Well, we know he was shot. This unknown soul. This person's face appears blurred throughout the book. This blurring indicates that you don't yet have sufficient information to determine their identity. Oh, that's nice of you to let me know. Met an unknown fate. Their fate may be known and can be entered now. Well, they were shot in the chest, so... Trying to name them while their fate is, face is blurred would be unproductive. Agreed. Carry on and pay attention. Faces will become unblurred when the information necessary to identify them has been revealed in some way. Okay, well, he's alive! He was axed, burned, clawed, clubbed, crushed, decapitated, drowned. Oh. He might have been eaten, electrocuted, expired. Expired? That's not a way to die. Exploded? <laughs> I hope we come across at least one death that's exploded. He fell. Oh, no, he didn't. He froze. He died of illness. He was killed with a sword. He was knifed. Poisoned. Shot. With a gun. By an unknown attacker. Well, I'm assuming he was shot by the captain with the nips. So, that... Although, it does give me the option for a whole bunch of other random people. I don't know. Uh, this guy was from Ireland. It was him. <laughs> ha ha! Old school racism. Anyway, it was a captain. One memory. Memories where this person appears can be navigated from here. Interesting. The soul appears in one memory. First memory. Perished. The end of part one, bookmarked memory. Bookmark all memories where they appear for quicker navigation. Use this button at the top of the page to edit bookmarks and navigate between them. Makes sense. Huh. Captain, open the door. Kick it in. Lest we break it down and take more of those shells. Shells? Shells. Shotgun shells? Eh. Best not speculate yet. Location of the corpse was right here. Passenger cabins. Captain's quarters. I wonder if I can go into those. Three others were present. Shot with gun. His face is clear. Oh, and some guy in the back. Okay, that, I guess, puts me at normal thing. So, let's avoid that for now. Nope. It's got an X on the doorknob. Maybe that's what that means. This one has an 1. Oh, okay. So, is this a... Is this a passenger? Like, that's a pretty terrible bed. 
But at least it comes with a desk, so that's something. That's blurry door. What about in here? Same setup. Closet, desk, very quaint quarters. But not terrible. Got a dead guy here. A dead guy here. A knife. Interesting. There should be another quarters in there. What's back here? Ooh. Front row seats to where we've been. And there's that, whatever that is. Can I run? No. Can't jump, can't run. All right. Let's see what's going on here. Was it me or was that a different time? Where are they? Must be in here someplace. <laughs> They're at the bottom of the sea. That's a lie. Okay, what are we dealing with here? We got a freshly dead body here. Shot. Okay. He was just knifed by the captain. Got no name for his face. Oh, hey, this guy. With, um, yeah, with the knife in his teeth. So he's fallen down still. There's the gun. Flintlock. One shot. This was thrown over in the scuffle, I guess? Why else would it be tipped over? I'm looking for any... No, that door wasn't open at the time. No, no, I have so much to live for! Inside the captain's quarters. Okay, still no way of knowing who this guy is. But we do know that he was knifed. Knifed. By the captain. Two memories. Okay, that makes sense because he was in the first memory. Interesting. So these little clippets of where they died, they're called memories. Good to know. Where are they at? Must be here someplace. It doesn't have an X where his friend died. It's just this. What's this? What is this? What's that mean? I wonder. Let me go to part one. I wonder if that meant something else. I guess not. Um. I believe the captain was down here. Unknown. No, nope, we know who he is. This person's face is no longer blurred, which means they can now be identified. Twoo. Use the book and the pocket watch to gather information to deduce his in. Um, hey, Doom Lad. Revisit the memories on the ship using the pocket watch to study relationships, appearances, and activities. The feet are where you left the memory. Oh. Use the book, maps, crew manifests, and artist sketches, along with the individual conversation logs, to find clues about. Dot, dot, dot. There are 60 people on the ship when it left England. Determining everyone's identity and fate will not be easy, but that's why we're here. Decisive information is rare. 
you will have to make assumptions using partial information. Some identities may only be revealed through the process of elimination. Good luck! Alright, Captain. We know who you are. I don't know who this guy is. Oh man, this makes me want to read Horatio Hornblower again. Okay, how you doing, Doom Lad? No spoilers, please. The whole point is to... Uh, well find out for ourselves okay that's locked even now is it me or yeah he's got a spear into the captain did he have a spear the last time Doing well, you have not played this either? Okay. Well, we will find out together, I guess. I need to check to see if this guy had a spear. Part one of four. Captain, open the door. Okay. He doesn't have a spear. Where did he get it? Where did he get the spear? This guy's got an axe. That's on the ground. This guy should have picked up the axe and went after him. But he didn't. I can't see past the captain. Where's the spear? He had a spear when he went into the captain's quarters. There's the spear. This guy gets shot, this guy grabs this spear and starts rushing towards him. The fact that the spear was actually there is like, man, props to the dev. So, okay, that's a thing. Let's get out of here. That's what I wanted to know. So the captain's been speared. Uh, threatened, speared. Actually, where's the, there's the spear. Captain pulled out the spear, threw down the knife. Uh, this guy dropped from down here and came over and met his end. How did that happen? Bloodily, sounds like. Jeez, the captain's a badass. Wait. Okay. Captain killed this guy, dropped the knife when he bled out. That was that one noise. This guy sneaks up from behind. We just heard him get stabbed. The captain, that is. So this guy gets blunted by the spear. So the captain pulls the spear out of his body. Can I crouch? Is there a crouch option? Oh, that's cool. way in the back. Huh. Okay, so this guy gets brained with a spear. Good to know. Who is this guy? Don't know, no way of knowing. Met by an unknown fate, clubbed? Clubbed sounds about right. He was clubbed by the captain. Three memories. He's way the hell back here. We don't know who he is yet. He 
Yeah, I think you're right. I think that's where you step in. Like, that's where you see it. Is there anything else I can determine? This was thrown over. This was thrown here. How? Okay. There's a woman sleeping in here. This is the other room that was locked off earlier. I wonder if that noise we heard was just it being unlocked. Sea spray. Ship was in transit. I'm going to assume that this place wasn't docked somewhere when all this went down. Okay. Do a little more exploring. Still not sure how this ship steers. Maybe it wasn't meant to. Ah, blurry door. Just like the captain's door. Spears thrown down. Surprised that the rocking of the ship hasn't rolled that spear around. Oh. And the sleeping woman apparently was a dead woman. Can I unlock this now? Can I unlock it from the other side? Hang on. Nope, that's closed forever. Okay. We'll check her out. This is clearly the captain. I just realized that... What? Your brother. My friend. I shot him. Dead. Forgive me for everything. Whoa! Okay, we know what happened to this guy now. So I'm going to assume that this is Abigail. I'm going to assume that this is Abigail's brother. We can find out what his name is eventually. Was he one of the mates? He's got a fancy hat. Wait, what was that tab? Opening the book while examining a face to flip directly to the sketch. Oh. And his face is unblurred. So I was right. This is Abigail's... That's a kind of meta game. I'm not sure if we're supposed to notice that. So this is Abigail. That's the captain who just ki got killed by... Suicide? By gun? Captain Robert Witterell met an unknown fate. He drowned. Looks like suicide. Suicide is an option. By gun. Good thing he had a gun for himself. This may or may not be correct. Good to know. We don't know if anything's right. Fates are validated in sets of three. Huh. Correctly identify at least three people and their fates to have the information typeset into the book. That's an interesting way to do it. Ah, that would be the... Okay. Abigail, your brother, my friend, I shot him dead. I'll be with you soon, my love. Please forgive me for everything. Location, 
in these quarters. And yeah, I'm thinking you're right, Doom Lad. I think that these sets of footprints is kind of like where you stand when you see him. No one else was present. Just this guy. So, okay. This guy's face is now unblurred, but we don't know who he is. He's the brother of Abigail, which, um, which one is Abigail? Okay, this. Her face is unblurred. This is Abigail. Robert Witterell. I think we saw Abigail. Abigail Hoskett Witterell. Is there any other Abigails? Just checking. Nope. With a name like Witterell, sister or uh, Passenger. I wonder what that button does. Okay. Abigail Hoscott Witterell. So why? How can we figure out who this guy is? First mate's name is Westcott or Huscott, which, if I'm not mistaken, is her middle name. She's got two names. She's the only one. Does this happen to married people in 1803? 1807? So we can kind of guess that this is the first mate. from He's Scottish. He didn't sound Scottish. So this is William Huscott. He was shot with a gun by Captain Witterell. Probably her first last name. Oh, that is confusing, man. Okay. So... There we go. We have one filled out. We have two filled out. And that's the end of the end. Something else opened. Not that door. Maybe something on deck. Where's the wheel? How do you steer this damn thing? Okay. Well, we're not going to find out any more from here. Four parts. I'm curious, while we're here, what is the mate's job? Officer or tradesman that supports and assists their superior general, uh, their superior. General mates help to run the ship and serve the captains at the captain's request. Tradesman mates serve their superior. What's a bosun? Also a boatswain or bosun. Foreman in charge of crew, general crew. Okay. Okay. Huh. Interesting. It is holding steady at the time of his death. I knew a guy with three middle names and a hyphenated last name. Was he Mexican or Irish? They do that. Something interesting to note is the passage of time during these people's death. This guy died at 2.05. No, I'm sorry, 10.05. Irish. I knew it. It's either Irish or... Mexicans, they really like their names. This guy died at uh, 10 after 10. 
This guy died at 10, or 15 after 10. And the captain died at 20 after 10. That's good to know. That might be helpful later on. Wait, I also heard a door open. Where was that door? Was it this door? It was not this door. I assume these lower or something. Okay. Okay. Buckets. You can never have too many. You're next, little lady. Okay, so she was crushed. What? She was crushed by a... <laughs> I have several questions. <laughs> I, I have so many questions. Yeah, this woman right here knows what's going on. I can't get upstairs to get a good look at the Kraken. Maybe this direction? Nope. Is that part of the ship? What is that? What? What is? Is that the ocean? That's the ocean. <laughs> Alright, well, um... The Doom. I found her at the captain's quarters, but that is not where she died. The corpse was moved post-mortem. She was like roughly there when she died? Met an unknown fate. What would you call this? Crushed? Crushed by beast, cannon, cargo, ringing stones. I don't know. Beast? Well done. Three fates correct. What? Interesting. This is a ticker. And then the last three on the left side. Oh, that's cool. This is a progress report. Okay, ten chapters. We are on chapter seven. So the X is what that particular person is saying. Like the person who died. Good to know. Have you lost your mind? Martin. One of these guys is Martin. Uh. What? What's wrong there, Watch? Are you doing okay, Watch? What? Watch? You're scaring me. Is there something you need? Watch? What's happening? Whoa! Oh! Whoa! 
What did he? I don't understand what's happening. What the fuck? Well, let's check you out, sir. Um, we are dealing with some pretty wicked magic here. Oh, uh, well, where did you get this watch? I was just, um, just take a break for a sec. I'm gonna go down, just walk down here. Nearest tavern, my good man. Make it snappy. There's a sovereign in it for you. If you can get me to the next bar by daybreak. No? I need a drink. You got any grog? Right. Back up we go. <laughs> hey. Hey, Doom lad. I see dead people. All right, let's do this. Okay, so he was crushed by a beastie. Spear in hand there. Okay, his tattoos give him away. So he is that guy, whoever he is. We'll have to figure that out. Is that the captain? Okay. Who's the guy with the spear? Because he's also the guy I'm pretty sure that was dragging him away. Baldy. Is he catching or throwing? One of these is catching, one of these is throwing. Okay, so some... Whoa, we've got a couple of people out here. Don't know who they are. So this guy was definitely crushed by Beast. This is part seven. Who is he? How did he die? It shows his face is clear. We should know who this is. Okay. Crushed by beast. Why should we know who he is? With only one memory, right? Show memories on deck map. Interesting. Okay. Depict underway sketch. Okay. He's drinking by himself. Bookmark memory. No, but you know what? Let's bookmark Abigail's memory. Or... Or not. We're gonna bookmark your memory. Have you lost your mind? Get back inside. I want my husband. Where is he? He's been... There's another one?
Hands open to catch, arms down to toss. Good point. Can you stop with the theatrics and just zoom where the guy is? Okay, we're gonna check this guy out in a second with our really creepy, like, increasingly creepy stopwatch. But I want to take a look at Abigail's memory again. Hey, Abigail, what's up? So, it says we can identify the tattooed man. I want to see if he's in Abigail's memory. Okay. She was on top deck. She was pointing this way when she was calling out before she was hit by... Uh, looks like the mast. So where is this guy? One, two, three... There are two other girls on the ship. Interesting. I don't see the tattooed man. Anywhere. We recognize this guy because of his top hat. Yeah. Yeah, he was firing. Is this the... No, but I think we've seen him before. Oh, this is the tattooed man. Duh, but he was already dead, so he isn't Martin. This guy is Martin. This guy is Martin. Martin Pirio, third mate, or Perot. Perot? It's voodoo? Yeah, it's a voodoo watch. It's a motherfucking voodoo watch. Are there any other Martins on this list? Just making sure. I don't know if they thought that far ahead. Like, that would be pretty cruel to have people name the same thing. Like, how many Patricks are there? How many Alexes are there? So, okay, this guy is Martin, third mate from England. Nice to see you, Martin. You have two memories. Right here and right here. Okay. So why should we know who the tattooed man is? Also, I don't have a way out of this memory like I did on the first one with the captain. And apparently I can't step over tentacles. That would be too much. I'm a gentleman. I'm not going to touch that icky tentacle. Oh, there it is. That is what I wanted. So, why should we know who this guy is? I want to take another look at his memory before we take a look at that dead body over yonder. Yandere. Yandere. Also, hmm. you may know by next one of the memories. Yeah, that's the point, though, is the whole point is when his face is clear... So when this guy's face is clear, here, I'll run this for you. When a person's face is no longer blurred, it means that they can now be identified. And that the book and the pocket watch should gather enough information to, to get their identity. Oh, uh, you missed the first 20 minutes? Uh, this is going on YouTube, man. Which reminds me, um, we are at the end of our hour, and this pocket watch is 
about to run out of juice for tonight, but before it is, let's find out about this guy right here. I did want a guy to explode, and I think I got my wish. So this guy exploded! They were trying to destroy the, the Kraken with... Whoa, things are wicked here. Hello there, buddy. Hey, wait a second. You're the tattooed man. Uh, this guy is rushing up with guns, but looks like he is having a bad day. Everybody's having a bad day. Explosions? That happened. Okay, the door's closed for now. Who are you, my friend? I don't know you. Okay, this guy, I think we've seen again... What about that guy? Wait a second, that was the first mate! That was, uh, what's his name? Okay, I thought explosion was a joke entry, but nope! Man on deck, we can't know his name. He exploded. <laughs> um... Oh, it's this door that's opening. That's what we're hearing opening. Okay. Um. It's a mighty fine tentacle you got there, buddy. Can we look over and see this monstrosity in its full form? No? Okay. Whoa, I just noticed this guy right here. Oh, no. That's a tattooed man. I got just one question for you, brother. Explosions? Okay, he was picked up and he had a barrel of gunpowder and something ignited it and I cannot see far enough over the edge to see the Kraken. Yarp. That's definitely a thing that's happening. And I am going to end this here. My hope is is to do one of these mystery hours at 8 o'clock on my Twitch channel. Mysterious Sparkle. And uh, we'll see how long I can keep this up, but I am super fascinated by this game. And uh, yeah. This will also get updated onto, uh, onto YouTubes. And we can find out what in God's unholy name... God, the monster, that is, is going on in here. Ah. Uh, yarp. So. Goodbye!